Myanmar's new civilian government is raising hopes in Malaysia. That's where thousands are seeking refuge from ethnic and religious conflict in Myanmar. As CCTV's Ryan Melter reports, many see a brighter future. Life for tens of thousands of Myanmar refugees in Malaysia may be an improvement on the discrimination, civil war and ethnic violence they fled. But Malaysia doesn't recognize refugees, leaving them unable to work legally or put their kids in formal education and mired in poverty. Many of these Karen, Chin and Rohingya refugees cling to the slim hope of one day being resettled to a third country. Some hope Aung San Suu Kyi's victory means they may one day be able to return home. In the run-up to November's election, then-opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi was vague at best about what she would do to end the country's ethnic strife and ensure the rights of minorities. Yet most ethnic minority voters pinned their hopes on her and her party. And many refugees share that hope. If the government gives us religious freedom, ends discrimination against ethnic minorities, and provides basic infrastructure, then I will consider going back. I wish her doing about the better for Rohingyas. We are return our home. We are go back our home. We do not happy other countries to live in the refugee way. Some worry about the fact that the military is still guaranteed control of the ministries of home affairs and defense. We hear our country is changing, but the leaders just make promises. They never keep them. Many Rohingya say they fear it will take even longer, if ever, to end the hostility toward their community. But all refugees here share the hope that at the very least, life this year will start to improve for those they have left behind in Myanmar. Ryan Meltzer, CCTV, Kuala Lumpur.